Hey guys, it is Chef Jason, your Ace Hardware Grilling Expert, and I'm hanging out here uh, in my backyard grilling stadium for today's edition of Ace This Grill, we're gonna call it, because today, it's all about cleaning. We're gonna get our Weber Genesis 2 E325 back up and running. But even more importantly, today we're gonna to teach you how to clean your gas grill from top to bottom and then rebuild it from bottom to top, making sure it is set and dialed in for a lot of amazing cooks ahead. We brought with a, uh, some cool tools today as well. We'll do a little tool flyover and show you everything. But I'll tell you what, I have the best tool we sell in the hardware store in my hand right? This is the best of any tool. This is our, my ultimate, my favorite grilling tool, the six in one paint tool. That's right. I use it for cleaning the grill. It's got that chisel for scraping, that little bird's beak for getting in all those nooks and crannies. This is a game changer when it comes to cleaning your grill. All right, so we start right here at the at the lid of the grill. And I'm not gonna worry about this until the end because uh, at the very end, I'll do my last minute top to bottom spray with that all natural cleaner and get it dialed in. I'm gonna check the thermometer first and just make sure it is not loose. And this is normal play in it, right? It's still on there very, very tight, but this, this right here, are you guys ready? Because that is what we are going to tackle next. First thing I check is the inside of the lid. I'm just giving it a wipe, right? What I'm checking for is to see if there's any big chunks or any uh, barbecue crumbs or barbecue stuff that needs to come off there. This is not, this is seasoning or what we call that barbecue patina. This is ready to go. I don't need to worry about cleaning that. Uh, I, I never clean these back to brand new. I love that seasoning. I like that barbecue patina. All right, we've got the folding warming rack that uh, we're gonna check next. And what I do, take my brush and I'll go along the grates and we'll get this all cleaned. Like I said, we're starting top to bottom. So we'll get everything cleaned, move our way all the way down until we can catch all those crumbs. But we'll go ahead, get this guy scraped and then we'll get it folded and stacked away. All right, collapsible warming tray is done and cleaned. We've got that set. Uh, we're gonna take our sear grates and get those guys cleaned as well. And then we'll grab our grill brush and get all of these grates scraped. And one of the things I like to do as well, get them from the top side, right? But then I also like to give them a little flip here and get that backside cleaned as well. So front and back, we'll get all those crumbs and all that barbecue off there and we'll get these guys cleaned. We'll take them off next so we can get down in there to see those flavorizer bars and the whole entire belly of the grill. All right, so the grill grates are gone. Uh, this gives us a first glance, really looking at the flavorizer bars. And I'm just checking them to see what is stuck on there, right? I wanna make sure we don't have anything that needs to be you know, scraped off or anything. If we do, check it out, super simple. Just take the chisel on our paint tool, get in there and give them a nice clean. So I'll go ahead now and go through all of these and I'm just checking them out. I wanna make sure that there's no uh, you know, metal that's deteriorated or excessive uh, wear and tear, but those, those guys look pretty good. So we're gonna go ahead and finish that up on the rest of them and then I'll catch you back up when it's time to start cleaning the grill body. All right, so we got the flavorizer bars off and now it's exposed, you know, some areas where obviously we've got some cleaning. But here's what I'll do. When it comes time to clean the burner tubes, I just use this brush to just go along there very easily, right? I'm not trying to scrape them. I'm not trying to scour them. I'm just trying to get anything that may be on the top off and then I'm gonna give it a quick wipe down, but that's kind of burner maintenance, super quick and easy. And then we've got these lower heat deflectors and you can tell, look at this, you can tell there is a lot of uh, barbecue crumbs stuck to this. So we've got a little bit of cleaning to do, but like I said, that six in one paint tool does actually pretty fantastic job. Then I can take it in here, get everything all nice and clean. Like I said, I love that beak for being able to just get in all those nooks and crannies and just like that. So we'll go ahead and finish all these lower heat deflectors up, get these guys all cleaned. And then we'll catch up when it's time to get in there and do a little more in-depth scrubbing. So you can tell we've got some serious cleaning work to do, right? But look at this. This is another reason I love this tool. I use that little beak to kind of get in here. And now, you know, one of the reasons um, I always say we do this from top to bottom is I like to get all the crumbs down into the body uh, of the grill right down here. But then, listen, 
onto our drip tray so it makes it even easier to remove. So what I'm going to do now is just kind of take, take my time and I'm going to go through here and just do some light scraping, nothing crazy, but I'm going to go through and do light scraping and get all this scraped off and down into the bottom. Well, you can see we've got, obviously got some cleaning to do on this piece here, but look at this. We're gonna go ahead and slide that drip tray out and look at that, there are all of our crumbs. So next up, we'll go ahead and get this emptied, then we'll move in here, we'll get that drip tray replaced, we'll show you that whole process, and uh, even a little degreaser in there to get rid of some of that extra cooking fat. I'm always pretty careful when I'm in here, but I just use that paint tool to very lightly uh, convince those uh, barbecue crumbs they need to go somewhere else. And you can see it works out pretty good, right? All right, so now I just go through here again, and I wanna get rid of all of those crumbs. That is my goal here. I'm not trying to, you know, like I said, not trying to scrape the paint off, but I'm definitely trying to get this clean. All right, so we're gonna give this a light spray of degreaser, just like that. I just wanna soak that surface just a little bit to get everything dialed in and degreasing so I can get in there and give it a nice little wipe down. I'll let it soak now for maybe three to four minutes and then we'll get in there, definitely uh, get that all cleaned up and ready to rock. All right, do a little wiping. You can tell that degreaser makes fast work of all of our cooking grease, right? But you get the idea. We're gonna go through here now, get this all cleaned out, make sure this is all set and ready to go. Uh, you know, it just keeps it clean, keeps our grill lasting a little bit longer. Not too shabby of a cleaning job, right? We're gonna go ahead and put the drip tray back in, but I ruined the surprise. Look at this. They come in a 10 pack, all 10 of them fit in there. So now I can just take them out, take them out, take them out, take them out, and I don't have to worry about where to store them. All right, it is time to rebuild this. So we'll go ahead and slide that drip tray in there, right? We wanna get that all set and ready to go. We're gonna put these lower heat deflectors back in. We got those guys all cleaned up and ready. Look at that, we took all those barbecue crumbs off there. Got those guys set, we're in a good spot. We'll go ahead and take our flavorizer bars next. Get these guys back in. All right, we will finish up adding these flavorizer bars back in and we've done a good job, right? We just went through and wiped these guys off, got them all cleaned. Uh, don't worry about the rust. That's just a normal part of that metal getting hot, cold, getting a little bit of moisture. Don't even sweat it. Next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and get our grill grates put back on and we'll start with this guy here. Okay, we put that last grill grate in, and this is the sear grate. And I'm not too worried about these guys being 100% perfect because when we're all done cleaning and before I cook on it the next time, I'm gonna go ahead and heat this up. Really, really hot, 600, 700 degrees. Let any of that burn off and give it one more beautiful scrub before I'm back to cooking. But that's how we put the grill back together. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the outside of the grill and see how we can give the outside it's a little bit of polish, a little bit of uh, a primping to make it look so pretty and beautiful. All right, well, when it comes to the last step, now it's making the outside look pretty. So I'm gonna spray some of our all-purpose cleaner on there. And like I said, you can use stainless steel polish. You can use whatever works best for you. I love this all-purpose cleaner uh, because it's all natural. It's orange oil based, and it just does a great job making this grill absolutely shine. So we go through, get it all wiped off, get everything cleaned up. And then we'll get ready to put our cover on here because if you wanna protect your grill and keep it like new for years, a cover is definitely the way you do that. Doesn't get much cleaner than that, right? And with a few uh, simple tools, we didn't even need to break out the shop vac. That's the beauty of it. So the more you keep your grills clean, the easier it will be when it comes time to do your deep cleaning. And I'll tell you, this was fast and easy. Like I said, we started at the top, went to the bottom, uh, threw out all of those barbecue crumbs and got that dialed in. Now, the next time I get ready to fire up the grill, I'm gonna go ahead, turn it on high and let uh, those grill grates burn off so I can give them one final scrub as well. Then, don't forget, you can grab today's tip sheet. We've got a really cool cleaning uh, tips checklist for you. You can head down below in the description section, click, print, follow along. You can keep that in your uh, playbook forever. And then, while you're down there, don't forget to leave us a comment and tell us uh, what would you like to learn, what would you like to see. Definitely, how can we be more helpful? Then, subscribe. It is time to do your homework. Click on those notifications. Subscribe to today's hardware YouTube channel. Tell everyone you know. Don't keep this a secret because cleaning grills is fun that we should all share together, that is for sure. Now, 
we taught you how to clean it. But coming up at the end of this, we've got another video that's gonna show you uh, annual maintenance. So what to look for every year, uh, how to check your tank, how to check batteries, how to check the igniter, a lot of cool stuff in that one year tune up video. And then you tuned up, you're cleaned up. We're gonna teach you how to make a fantastic steak uh, with some roasted mushrooms as well because nothing screams, hey, I have a clean grill like a fresh steak and some roasted mushrooms too. So, hey, I'm Chef Jason Morris, your Ace Hardware grilling expert. Time to take off the gloves, clean up a little bit, and uh, maybe, uh, yeah, I think we're gonna fire up the grill and get cooking. We'll see you soon at your local Ace Hardware.